TouchChat is a fully customizable AAC app from PRC Saltillo. Once you've copied a vocabulary file for your AAC learner, you're able to edit the buttons in a variety of ways. The vocabulary files in TouchChat come with many pre-programmed pages with lots of pre-programmed words. There are some pages that you will want to personalize for your AAC learner who like their personal information, people in their lives, their favorite foods or drinks, medical needs, TV shows they might like, toys and games, or the places they like to go. Let's take a look at how you can edit the buttons within TouchChat. Start by navigating to the page with the button you want to edit. Then tap on Menu in the upper right corner, then Edit Page. You're now in Edit Mode. Select the button you want to edit, then tap on Edit This Button. The button label is what you will see on the button, while the button message is what it will say when pressed. If words are not pronouncing correctly, you can add an alternative pronunciation here. Now you can edit the image that will appear on the button. Using the arrows next to the icon listed, you can scroll through suggested images based on the label that you entered. Type in what kind of symbol you're looking for, like boy, and then scroll through the options that are in the library. Find the symbol that you want and then select it. If you want a real photo on your button, tap on import image and you can use the camera on the iPad to take a picture or find an image in your iPad photo library. Other things that can be customized on the button are where the label's located, if you want bold or italicized text. You can also customize the button font and font size and the color of the text. To draw attention to a button, you can change the body color of the button or add a colored border around the button. Finally, you can edit the button action. When you have finished editing this button, select Save in the button editing menu, tap on Done when you're finished. Other features for editing buttons include changing the size of the button. You can make a button larger on the page, but just know that it will impact the other buttons around it. You can also copy a button and paste it somewhere else on the page. Or you can exit edit mode on this page and go to another page, go back into edit mode and paste it there. You can drag and drop buttons into a new spot within the page. If you don't want the button on that page, you can use Remove Button from this page. You will get a warning that this will delete the button and there is no undo once it's deleted. If you want to have multiple buttons with the same color or outline, you can just paste the style of the button onto another button. If you didn't want the same size button here, you can go in and change the button size back. When there are buttons that you don't need right now, instead of removing them, you can hide them until you need them later. While in edit mode, tap on menu in the upper right corner again, and then select hide mode. While in hide mode, whatever buttons you tap on will turn gray and then will be hidden when you exit edit mode. To bring them back, go back into hide mode, tap on menu one more time, and then tap on show all. You can go back to menu again, tap on normal mode to continue editing the page. If you're using symbol stick symbols in touch chat, you can customize the skin tones on the people icons of the buttons. Go to menu, then vocabulary settings. You can choose to have all the symbols have the same skin tone and choose the shade, or you can choose to have random skin tones on the buttons. You can then select randomize to change up the skin tones. If you want a specific skin tone for one button, go to that button and go into edit mode. Select the button and scroll down under the image. If the button is a symbol sticks person symbol that's customizable, there will be an option to select the skin tone. To continue learning about TouchChat, go to our TouchChat website learning center or find classes on our AAC Learning Journey website.